Hello, my name is Craig Basher. I'm an application engineer for Advanced Solutions. I'm here today to show you a new feature from Autodesk Inventor 2012. This feature is a view representation. Now, if you're somewhat familiar with Inventor, you might tell me that this is really not a new feature. And you would be correct if I were talking about assemblies. But I'm talking about view representations in the part environment. Before I show you this new feature, let me show you some examples of different types of representations in the assembly environment. The first representation is called a view representation. Here I can save a state like color, view magnification, and visibility with these types of representations. I here I have an ex example of a section view that's saved in this view representation. The second type of representation is called positional. Positional allows me to change the state of a, an assembly that typically would move. For instance, this valve assembly has an, a closed state, but it has an open state as well. I can even make a third state that allows it to be free. There are no limitations on the number of positions that you could create. The third type of representation is called a level of detail. This allows me to manage large assembly files. I can suppress all components or just content center files. I can make my own custom suppression look and feel. I can also create what's called a substitution. This allows me to create a shrink wrapped part and replace all my occurrences with just one file. Notice here in my corner I have a total number of occurrences in this document, just one. If I go back to my master level of detail, you notice it comes up with 12 uh, occurrences there. So that's a nice tool. Now in my part environment, like I said, that's a new feature for Inventor 2012. So let's open up the housing here. What we're going to do is we're just going to make a new one here, a new view representation. And we're just going to keep this view as the home view. So we're going to come over here and say I want that to be home. And I'm going to lock that down so it can't be changed accidentally. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a second one here. And I'm going to give it a different color. So let's say we're going to, we want it to be glass. Okay. And so what we'll do is we'll actually put our pull down menu here, our, our style selection. We'll go and choose uh, the clear glass option here. And then what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll actually maybe move to a different position of object here. Maybe zoom up on it. Now we can save that position. We'll lock it down. So if I go back to my home, I have that position. Then I go to glass and it has that magnification. Now once I have those representations saved, I can actually go and use those in my assembly environment. For instance, I can create a new representation here that allow me to choose the parts representation and save that. Now I can go back to default with color. View 1 is my glass. So remember, all those representations that are created, whether they're the assembly environment or the part environment, they can be used to create custom views. So I hope you enjoyed it and I want to thank you for watching.